What's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today it's gonna be more mods versus maps And guys if you're new to this series what we do is take a really destructive mod and annihilate an awesome map And today it's gonna be the madness medley, which is a roller coaster map And if you don't know I played this last week and like every single comment was like Pat You gotta destroy this map for mods versus maps and here we are. That is exactly what we're going to be doing. There's some really cool structures. There's like the wither, the ender dragon. There's little people, flying chickens. This map's got everything. It should be awesome. It even has a bearded lady, which you tried to trick me last time. I thought you were a girl for a second. And today you're going to pay for that. But anyways, guys, yeah, total respect to the map creator on this one. It's such a cool map, but we have to destroy it today. Should be a lot of fun. And if you enjoy destruction, be sure to smash that like button. If we get it 6,000 once again, that would be amazing. And the mods we're going to be using are the Tornado mod, which is always so cool. It picks up, like, every block, throws them around. And also, I got too much TNT because some blocks can't be picked up. And TNT doesn't have to pick them up. It just blows them, and they're just, they're gone. It sounded weird when I said blows them. But you know what I mean, guys? It gets rid of the blocks. It should be a lot of fun. So I think it's time to get started. And what I try to do is start with the weaker stuff because some of this could, like, annihilate everything. Like, a Meteor TNT could probably take out, like, half this island. And we don't want to start like that. We won't even be able to check it out. So I'm going to toss down, like, a tornado right in the middle of the map. And we'll see what happens. Oh, is she holding a flower? Now I feel bad. That's like her little hand with the flower. Anyways, tornado. I I'm sure you're going to be okay. Luckily, it's going in that direction. But yeah, the tornado mod. I could never get sick of this. It's just so amazing. Look at all the blocks it picked up. It's just throwing them all around. It is so cool. Yeah, I don't know if you can ride the roller coaster anymore. Y you probably can't. It looks really weird. All right, where's this headed anyway? Going towards the ocean. Come on, turn around. I wish you had a brain. Let's see where this goes. All right, so is there an Enderman in it? The poor Enderman. He never stood a chance. Oh, I never noticed there was a face on this before. There's faces everywhere. It's actually heading towards the planet Minecraft sign. I wonder if it's going to annihilate that too. There's a volcano over here. What we can do is... Ooh, the ice. Don't take out the ice cream yet. I wanted to throw a meteor at it or something. Let's get another one down over here. Yeah, we'll see if the planet Minecraft sign can get destroyed we'll see it looks to be made of is that actually made of dirt i didn't realize that it's dirt and wool it's gonna go so bad it's going directly through it the poor side two tornadoes into it yeah that's that's not good not good at all and i think to make it worse we could just dig a couple more like this this is gonna lag so bad eventually we're gonna have like 50 tornadoes in here but yeah that is how you get rid of something i think the letters are completely gone now all right, that's perfect. It's heading directly through it, which should get rid of everything. I also want to get that giant ball over there. It's not weird at all. All right, let's go for it. Let's see. I'm going to put one right on top. You got to aim it in that direction, because if I, like, spawned a tornado like this, it would spawn, like, in the distance instead. So let's try to be straight about this. There we go. Oh, my God. There's so many mobs in here. Is that a blaze? No, that's not a blaze. It's a dude with, like, gold armor on. But yeah, that tornado is tearing this ball apart. That's right. Okay, so should we finish off the rest of the mobs? They survived it. Let me try to get one more there. Okay, get the mobs. It's so cool when it picks them up like that, isn't it? That is so sick and it drops them back down. All right, so we'll ignore that for now. We got to. We'll just let this, you know, relax. Let's get back to the normal part of the map. I think we kind of got the sign anyway. Let's see what we did to it. Just one tornado going through it, and the, the roller coaster is never going to look the same again. I'm going to try to put one, like, in the direction of this place so we can, like, travel through the whole thing. I'll get one there. We'll get one there. And, guys, there is some other tornadoes you can spawn in. We're going to try them, but when it comes to the destruction, really, this is the only one that does a ton. Like, I can do a level 5 tornado. It doesn't pick up many blocks. This is really the one that's going to pick up tons of stuff. There's, there's water all over my face. I can't see. Excuse me, tornado. Excuse me. All right, so what's going on over here? Look at all the dirt. It's getting tossed all over the place. I'm feeling like the wither has to go. Okay, wither. I know you always wanted to see a tornado. I don't know why you did, but here you go. Let me get one more. Okay, two tornadoes right on top of the wither skulls. His head is, is gone. All right, we got the wither. Ender dragon, I think, is made of obsidian. That one is going to be tough. 
Honestly, I'm not even sure how we're going to take it out. I know with too much TNT, I could get the Easter TNT, which would turn him into, like, melons, which is weird. And then we could blow him up. So that might be a choice. Uh, you! You tricked me last time. I thought you were a woman. For that, you get punishment. All right, there we go. Dynamite. Now they're gone. See, that's what, that's what happens. You tried to trick me. No more trickery. It's not happening again. Not with me. Okay, so guys, we're going to get some more tornadoes in here before we actually go on to, like, the TNT times 500 in the Meteor TNT. So, I'm going to get one in that direction, one in that direction. And I think after these, we'll try, like, maybe the level 5 tornado. Okay, so this is actually going really good. The map is getting destroyed bad. I haven't even brought out, like, the intense stuff yet. The tornadoes are doing a great job. It's actually amazing how much destruction they can cause. And I did want to say, guys, I feel like I always have to mention this because I always get comments. I don't know why people, like, so upset that I broke the map they loved. Guys, the reason we destroyed this is because we liked the map. I wouldn't do, like, a map that looked awful. Like, it just looked so horrible, you know? It, it's got to look cool as we're destroying it. Look at that meteor. Oh, meteor against meteor. That makes sense. We got to do that. All right, guys, we have no choice on this one. So some of the tornadoes are kind of, like, heading off into the distance. And I feel like it would be wrong not to destroy a meteor with meteor TNT. That that would be, like, illegal. So we're going to do this. All right, so let me just cause the explosion and say goodbye to this forever. Okay, so it went, guys, and that is completely gone. There's Is there any blocks left? Is there one block? That's actually kind of far in the distance. I don't think that was from it. It, it might have been, but the meteor killed the meteor, and it's it's never going to be the same, guys. A chicken over there. That thing freaks me out. I didn't like flying underneath you, so a tornado's going to fly underneath you. Let's try that. It actually looks like one of the tornadoes did head in this direction. Not directly under the chicken, but I'm going to try to make it do that. Let's go for it. Right here. Forward. Get the chicken. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. The chicken is caught directly in the middle of the tornado. Will it survive? I don't know. Oh, is it the blocks it's made out of? Are you made out of blocks that it can't pick up? That's unfair. You're an evil chicken. All right. So, catch this. There we go. We, we got rid of it. The lava ring looks really cool now. All right, guys. So, what we're going to try is one of the bigger tornadoes. So, for that, we go weather mod. Spawn tornado. And we'll go with five. It's the biggest one, but really, it doesn't do as much destruction. Kind of wanted to see it, though. Why do you have to spawn over there? It kind of spawns in a random area around where you are. Instead of with the tornado gun, you just point in that direction. Spawn tornado five. Okay, so do it close to this. Thank you. I see it. It's on the island, and that's all I really wanted. Are you on the island? Yeah, it is. It's just such a... It takes up so much area. And what you're going to notice with this one is it doesn't really grab a lot of blocks. You're going to see some, but definitely nowhere near the amount you do with the other kinds. Like, I see a couple pieces of dirt flying by. The area isn't taking too much damage. I see some dirt now. It's not too bad, but we're going to get a normal tornado in here, and let's get this party started. We're getting rid of this. That's scary. You are really scary. My god, there's some things in this map I didn't even notice when we played it. <laughs> Let's get rid of that too. It's like the creepiest map ever. So let me change the time today here, guys, so we can see a little bit better. I know normally I can keep the time set the whole episode, but if you do that with this um, tornado mod, the tornadoes, you can't see them for some reason. It's weird. So if I kept it at, like, daytime the entire time, the tornadoes wouldn't show up. But yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on now. There's long, wide tornadoes, skinny tornadoes, and a really dead amusement park. It's not looking so good. Yeah, this area over here has so much going on now. It's really wrecking it. All right, that blimp, though. That blimp. It seems in perfect condition, which, which seems really wrong to me, guys. It doesn't seem right that this would be in perfect condition. So I'm thinking some dynamite. We're going to use this for now. There we go. There we go. I got it, like, right in the middle. Did a skeleton fall out of that? I swear it did. Your face looks so weird now. It looks so weird. Did you, did you get some weird blocks on it? You're, you're looking a little strange. But, yeah, we're going to take this really cool stuff, and we're going to blow up everything. There's underground areas that should get destroyed during that, too. I, I think we got to do this, though. Look at this face. 
We gotta throw it. There we go. And right here, a giant dinosaur, too. It looks like the tornado can't pick up this kind of block, so... We gotta do that. We have to. The creeper lived in him. Did you, did you eat the creeper? Is that why he's in there? In the stomach? Don't worry, guys. I got rid of him. Look at the lava now. That was from where the chicken was. Alright, so we're gonna take the real serious explosives now and try to blow this map up. Okay, so I'm gonna take the TNT times 500 and kind of just put it in this area and then there'll be no area left. You can see this goes down, so we're gonna destroy a lot of stuff with it. Alright, so let me get the flint and steel here and let's get a good view because the crater is gonna be amazing. Oh my god, that was awesome. I don't see anything left. Yeah, if you get down here, there's just nothing left from where it went. I don't know if it went any deeper than this. Let's see if we can see here. Yeah, we got rid of a lot of stuff. I even see redstone. That was pretty bad. As I mentioned before, guys, there was a reason we didn't start with this TNT. If we did, then we lose all the fun in one go, and this is really fun. Ender Dragon, I'm going to get you next, actually. Let's get the Easter TNT, because we can't really blow him up, because he's made of obsidian. But what we can do is we can switch him into melons, because that's normal. It's completely normal, especially when it's the Ender Dragon. They, they love melons. Everybody loves melons, okay? Here we go. So this should be really cool. It's going to be really weird, actually. I hope it gets lots and lots of melons. And here we go. Please blow up on top of the Ender Dragon. It, it's working, guys. It's working. There we go. He's a giant melon now. That's perfect. So I guess what I'm going to do is just... Let's blow him up with... Let's try just the dynamite. There we go. We're getting rid of some of him. It is not easy to kill the Ender Dragon this way. He's not used to dying. Alright, you know what? I don't know. I don't think the 500 TNT can do this. We're going to give it a shot. At least it should get rid of every single melon that's on him. There we go, guys. That was about all I could do with that. I thought it was going to do so much more. Let me throw the dynamite at the wing. There we go. Yeah, this is not easy to kill. I mean, I could use a bunch of Easter TNT, but I feel like it'd get a little bit boring. I'd have to use it like 10 times. So, Ender Dragon, you're sort of alive. Throw this at your mouth. All right. He, he deserves to live. He looks like a helicopter now, but that's okay. I kind of want to go over to that ice cream. It's just so epic looking. I don't know if we should... I don't think a meteor is going to be as cool. I want to do a meteor, like, in the middle of the map because it's going to look a lot better. And maybe just do the TNT times 500 on the cherry. There's still blocks flying down from this. That is so cool. Is this hollow, by the way? Are you not hollow? I thought it might be. Anyways, we're going to toss it in there. And we are going to blow it up and say goodbye to the really delicious looking ice cream. I am starving. The poor ice cream. It actually was able to survive that, though. That's crazy. Okay, I guess we got to do it again, guys. We got to do it again. More TNT times 500. I should have put it in the middle. I'm just really surprised it couldn't break those blocks easier. Let's go for it again, guys, and see what happens. Okay, there we go. That definitely did some destruction. And, of course, you know, a few scoops of ice cream should always live. They should. It's like a really... I don't know what the hell it is. It looks weird. Okay, so let's see what's left here, guys. The map is looking destroyed. There's blocks that don't belong in certain spots, which looks kind of cool. But what I want to do is get one of these meteor TNTs in, like, a spot with a lot of stuff and kind of just wreck it. Okay, I have an idea. We're going to place it, like, right here. It comes down from the sky, so it's, it's going to get rid of everything in this area. It's going to be perfect. Let's do it, guys, and see what can survive this. I don't think it's going to be too much. Oh my god, that launched me so far away, and I swear it took out the entire map. I swear it did. That is a massive crater, isn't it? The only stuff left is, like, this little house over here, and that, like, floating... Is that ice cream, too? I don't know if that is, but... Let me just use some of the dynamite to take these out, and then we're gonna blow that up. Alright, guys, look at the map. It looks crazy. The only thing left is really, like, a floating ender dragon and part of a blimp. And, of course, I left some of the Planet Minecraft sign over here. Please be hollow. Why aren't you hollow? You're not hollow. Okay, so to make this work, I'm going to put it pretty deep like this. And we'll just see if this can get rid of a ton of it. All right, there we go, guys. That got rid of the entire middle. These things are really hard to kill, aren't they? I feel like we got to get rid of these scary faces. Like, we don't have a choice, so say goodbye to them. They were scaring me. They were scaring me a lot. And also, 
I guess we should get rid of this volcano. It's not super exciting, but it's kind of easy just to throw, you know, the dynamite times 100 at it. It actually does pretty good at destroying stuff. There we go. We kind of got rid of most of that, and these things will never be the same after this dynamite. But yeah, guys, today I think we have destroyed this map. It was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the commentary. If you did, be sure to slam that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video. What's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today it's going to be more mods versus maps. And guys, what we're going to be using today is Explosives Plus and also the Bacteria mod. A lot of people have been requesting it, so here it is. And we're going against the Bikini Bottom map today, guys. Should be a lot of fun. People keep requesting this one, so I figured we'd give it a shot. And I did want to be honest, I don't actually watch Spongebob. Never really saw the show, but a lot of people wanted to see the map get destroyed. And we're going to do it. I believe this is Spongebob's house right here. So guys, I wanted to say, if you love Spongebob, don't be offended by me totally annihilating every single part of this map. Should be a lot of fun though, hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, be sure to slam that like button as always. Let's go for like 6,000 once again. Alright guys, so I figured we'd start with this. We got the Biome Buster from Explosive Plus, and it destroys biomes. And this time we're actually in a biome. I know I tried to use this in the Sonic map, and it was kind of on the water, didn't really work. So I thought we might be able to take the whole map out. In the first 20 seconds. We'll see. Let's just do this. Hero Brian is ready to destroy. Alright guys, let's do it. Explode everything. This really might destroy the entire map. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, I hear noise. Oh, oh my god. Spongebob's house. It's gone. Oh my god. Wow. Alright, so that's that's got to be a lot of the map right there. Yeah, look at the buildings. This glass dome annihilated a couple buildings survived like right in the middle because it seemed to have like made like areas in between disappear so guys i think we have no choice at this point but to reset the map but i really wanted to try it like while everything was here wow this this area doesn't look so good anymore i'm pretty sure there was a spot by the beach over here it's a couple like beach towels on the ground all right, guys, so what we're going to do is reset the map and actually destroy it, you know, in, in, in a lower amount of time. I mean, higher, not lower. How could it possibly be lower than this? All right, guys, we are back, and the map is not in pieces anymore. I mean, it went down so quick, I felt like we had to start over and actually check out some of the cool builds as well. So I already started this, sort of. I put down a bunch of C4 on this building right here. It says... It is the chum bucket. So, it's going down, guys. What we're going to do is grab this, the detonator, and watch it blow. All right, here we go. That was pretty sick, actually. Just the top of it. Oh, man. There's, like, one piston in here that still survived it. And I guess maybe we should get the bacteria started. Should we just go with the sand? It's going to be, like, everything under the entire city here. All right, let's go for it. We'll just go with the bacteria. I know a lot of people really wanted to see this. So, we got to do it. All right, let me get a little sand. And we'll see what happens. Alright, so all I have to do is place this on top. And then I'm thinking every single thing here should really start to disappear. Alright, here we go. You can see all the sand is gone. It's going to spread throughout the entire map. Let's check out this building here. Kind of a cool looking building, which, you know, we, we got the side of it. What should we get it with? How about the boomstick? Oh yeah, that is how it's done. Oh, I think I actually destroyed the bacteria that was over here, too. This one's made of obsidian. It looks like... Didn't work on it. Let me try this. All right, so yeah, can't use that, but this might work. The repulsion beam? Oh, yeah. It actually picked up every single obsidian block. And let's see what happens. It is raining awesome blocks. I love that one. That one is so sick. Such a cool, like, destructive mechanism. We'll go with that word. But yeah, look, the bacteria is taking over. This is insane. All right, so what do we got here, guys? We've got emergency. Oh, I feel bad breaking this one. I mean, this whole thing is an emergency at this point. All right, should we go with the Nova Bomb? Actually, you know what? How about the Predator Missile? I'm going to go, like, directly into this place with a missile. All right, here we go, guys. We are the missile. Oh, I missed horribly. I missed horribly. Let's make sure we're going straight down here. All right, that's got to be pretty close. All right, let's do it. Got to hold it back like that. Let go. Yeah, there we go. This time, we actually hit the building. Um, did it, did it do much? 
<laughs> Come on, what is this? What is this nonsense? All right, let me try it on this one. I'm gonna do it right in the middle. I can't miss. I oh, it's diamond in there. It's diamond. We gotta go for it one more time. This one is not liking me right now. All right, that's a perfect shot right there. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. And look at all the beautiful diamonds. Only 99 cents. All right, so this is really spreading now. I mean, the whole like underside of the map is is looking bad. Oh, one thing I totally forgot to mention. I wanted to say total respect to the map creators because this is an awesome map and we mean to destroy it for fun. Not for anything bad, guys. This is for fun. All right, so all the blocks are falling down. I like the repulsion beam. All right, boom, stick it. Yeah, yeah, that's gone. You can see there's like a little obsidian just kind of chilling. All right, what else do we have here? Okay, so the sand is it's, the sand is actually lagging me at this point. I think because so much of it is disappearing. Let's check it out. How far away did this go? It's literally taking over the entire desert. All right, yeah, it's spread all the way over here. Okay, so we got some strong stuff here. Let's grab the stealth bomber. I don't think this one is too bad. I'm saving the TNT rain because it's absolutely insane. Right, let's get this building right here. It has no ground. It's sad. Okay, stealth bomber, right click, TNT. All right, I, I think it's gone, guys. Poor, look at the zombie. He's, he was in his cave. He was, you know, he was chilling, having lunch, and now he, he's dead. Poor, di poor guy. I don't even know what I said. Poor dude did not last. Oh, this is a cool, like, glass dome. I didn't expect it to go. We'll, we'll do it one more time. Stealth bomb it with TNT. There we go. All right, so that should, yeah, that's that's the end of it. It's it's not coming back after that one. Oh, did you see that piece of sand just come down? That was like a long time after, too. All right, I feel like we got to do it, guys. We got to do it. We got to take this to the next level. And that would be with the TNT rain, which is unbelievably awesome. That's cool. Like a statue right there. All right, so I'm going to toss this down, guys. And then this area right here. Hopefully you didn't really like this area because it's, it's not going to look good. At all after oh do I not have I didn't even grab flint steel all right let me grab that real quick and then we will say goodbye to this area forever all right let's back up here and this should do it I'm nervous about it it's a lot of TNT I believe it's a hundred on every single layer that comes down I know it didn't disappear yet but trust me guys it's gonna disappear everything is gonna disappear with this one all right, so I'm waiting for it to actually, like, do its thing. It's freaking out a little bit. All right. Let's try to get closer. Look at the area. All right, what if that's still there? The building? Maybe? Is it? Sort of? Oh, the beds. They lived. They lived. Anything in here? Oops. <laughs> I lit it on fire. <laughs> of course, that's what I do. All right, the chest is working. All right, so, yeah, that is a massive crater. Some serious damage. I even see bedrock. That actually took it all the way down to bedrock. That is just insane. All right, so we got to climb out of this thing. I swear, we got rid of a lot of the map with just that. I right, love the repulsion beam, too. Let's try to get the rest of this and just toss it into the sky. You can't control it. It just kind of goes. There we go. It's, it's raining. Some beautiful blocks, too. Should I finish this off? Let's get the rest of it. I know when we used Explosives Plus last time, I really had a lot of fun with it, and I felt like... It needed to come back today, and you guys can see why. Is that a bed? Hold on a second here. Hold on a second. Did it pick up part of it? <laughs> it broke the bed in half and picked it up, and it, it landed right there. That's that's cool, actually. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to head over here, guys, and we're going to get rid of some stuff. I'm going to boomstick this thing to hell. There we go. Oh, let's finish it off. One more. I like that one. And it looks like the bacteria is done. The bacteria actually took over everything. You know, we get some gravel and do the bacteria here, too. I know a lot of people really wanted to see this mod, like, destroy something. Okay, so let's, um... We actually need some gra Oh, I got gravel right there. All right, perfect. It's gonna work. So all I have to do is toss this on top, put down some redstone, and then it's gonna be floating, like, you know, note blocks and, and chests in a second. All right, there it goes. So we're going to leave it alone. We're not going to explode this because it's beautiful. It, it does it all on its own. I love the way that it works, actually. So we're going to leave that alone for... Actually, let's just watch. It's, it's going to go so quick. Already half of it is gone. 
Ooh, it's about to be nighttime. Let me make sure we can actually see here. Time set day. That should be good. So yeah, this is going, guys. It's going. It's going. It's not coming back, guys. It's not coming back. There's some bacteria on this chest. It's kind of, kind of gross. Anything in these? I just feel like checking. It's a cool build, though. All right, so this is going, guys. Kind of. It's weird. It's a little weird. Should I get some? C I don't use C4 too much. Um, can we put it on? Let's put it around here. All right, that'll stick right to it, sort of. It's like it's not actually touching it, but it'll work. We can do it. We can do it. All right, so we'll go across here and. Get rid of it. Okay, so all we need is... What is it? Detonator. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so that definitely worked. Oh, this is what I was talking about before. I knew there was a spot by the beach. There's like this little tiny structure. Actually, I think the C4 would be perfect for it. Just a couple. It doesn't need too much. You know, put it on these two and this over here. And there we go. All right, so let's head back into town. I know a lot of the town is actually, you know, still left alive here. And we have not used the Nova Bomb. For some reason, I can't remember what this one does. Oh, no, I do. It's just like the like the repulsion beam, actually. All right, so we'll toss this down. Get my flint and steel here. You know, we'll toss out a couple. A couple here. We got to have some fun with this. So I think they don't light each other. So I need to light every single one. So I'm going to be real quick. Really quick. All right, let's do it. One more. Oh, it's laggy. It's really laggy. I missed that one. Okay, so let's watch. <laughs> Look at all the blocks. They're all sucked up into it. I feel like it didn't toss them as high, though. But it, it worked. It definitely worked. Look. <laughs> they won't even disappear now. They freaked out a bit. But yeah, we're pretty good. Let's actually finish it off with the repulsion beam. Yeah, I like this one better. And it launches them a lot higher, too. Watch. I feel like it does. Look at that piece of glass soaring through the sky. This looks weird now, doesn't it? There's like these like weird high areas and random blocks like throughout it. All right, so I'm going to leave those alone unless I can. Can I repulsion beam them? No, you, you can't do that. It'd actually probably go away if I relogged. All right, so let's head back into town here, guys. Let's get some destructive stuff like... Let me see. We're going to go with um, the Stealth Bomber. I know the Predator Missile sometimes glitches out, so I'm not going to use it more than once. We'll go with this. Here comes the TNT. Yeah. All right, so that should take care of everything. Every I thought I was going to do, like, one building. It, it took care of everything. Seriously, guys, there is not much left here. I was trying to leave, like, you know, SpongeBob's house for last. We're going we're gonna to try to do that. It's, it's looking a little weird, but we'll take care of it. Okay, a couple more over here. We're just going to use this again. I think it's so cool. I love, like, the lapis blocks on top of this one. All right, here we go. TNT rated down. That's gone. Definitely. Okay, so I love how big of a crater it makes. I think it's 100 TNT. All right, so we'll take this, and then I guess some. Um, we're going to head back towards SpongeBob's house. Awesome. You know what, guys? we got to use the boomstick a couple more times here. All right, let me grab it. And then I guess um, it seems like the bacteria mod definitely did its job. It got rid of the whole bottom. Like, there, there really isn't too much I could do with it. I think maybe a lot of people recommended this. Maybe in a city map it might be better than in, like, a biome like this. All right, let's get rid of that. And it would only be, I guess, if the city was made of a lot of the same blocks. All right, come on. There we go. I think only, like, his house is left in his neighbors. You get rid of this. All right. Oh, oh my God. That took out his home. I am so sorry, SpongeBob. All right. So let's finish this up with, I think we got to use, we have to, the TNT rain because it's so cool. I'm just going to put it right on your, your nose. Is that cool? Hope, you, hope you're not offended. All right. Here it goes, guys. Here comes a lot of TNT. N not a small match. Try to count it. It's seriously a lot. All right, so you can see the structure is damaged, but it's it's gone now. Oh, I can see, like, um, basement. N now I can't. I can't see anything. I can see lava underneath the ground. Right, let's check this out. Are we going to hit bedrock again with this? There's just so much TNT. All right, we got to be close. Yep, we got all the way down to bedrock again. So, guys, it looks like we have taken out the map. But quickly, quickly, we have to do it. Quickly, we got to do this, guys. Let me just grab this. And I'll grab some stone. I think it's just fun to, like, watch it destroy stuff in general. So, bacteria. Power it. All right. Put it right there. And then put this on top. And all the stone in the map should disappear. You make sure it's stone around it. 
All right, there we go. Making sure it's all connected. But yeah, guys, let's take a quick look around, and we'll let this spread around a bit. Hopefully, it's going to work how I am predicting. All right, I think it is. All right, perfect. So yeah, once this was where SpongeBob lived, now it's it's like after the apocalypse. It looks like the apocalypse hit this place. Yeah, I think we got everything. And the desert is actually gone. I've never seen a desert without sand before. But now I have. All right, so we'll head in this direction. See if there's anything left at all. I see like a couple floating blocks. You can take the boomstick and kind of just finish those off if we want. And actually a little path. There's a couple like small things. We totally annihilated this one though, guys. Like much worse than usual. I feel like every time I use this mod, nothing survives. All right, let me get rid of that. It's like a sign fall like last second there. And I don't, I don't, oh, look, there's the cauldron in there. Not anymore. All right, is that stuff spreading? I just want to see. Yeah, you can see the bacteria is starting to take over. Eventually, you know, if we waited like 10 minutes, this would probably take over the entire area. Yeah, it's spreading a lot now, actually. You can see, like, stuff falling down. I'm trying to get it to load in. Yeah, it would take over the entire biome. I guess eventually it would just be bedrock left here. But yeah, guys, today we took out this map. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the commentary. If you did, be sure to slam that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys next time for another Minecraft video.